Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. Happy Sunday. So I want to come on here and do some voiceovers. So a lot of you guys have been wanting to know my opinion on the whole Kodak Black situation. So if you guys do not know, this past Friday, Kodak Black took to Instagram Live and he was basically talking about Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London. And he was being kind of disrespectful, saying, you know, he really didn't know Nipsey like that and he got homeboys that die every day. Then he goes on to basically say that he would give Lauren London, who is stunningly beautiful, who I don't think would look at his ass twice, okay? But he says that he would give Lauren London a year to grieve and cry and shit. And then basically it's his turn. He's going to shoot his shot. So a lot of folks were not feeling this at all. I want you guys to go ahead and watch his video. Check this out and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. I give her a whole year. She might need a whole year to be to be crying and shit. The yeah, too for, soon, for dude, I ain't trying to shoot that hoe. I'm saying this. Look, look, look. No, she could do two, three years, but I just try to be that I try to be like, if you need a friend to holler us, so to me, you know, I, you can call my line. All right, so you guys just saw that video of Kodak Black. So, of course, once it went viral, everybody from T.I. to Tank to the game, BG Knockout even got involved. When I tell you all these people were dragging Kodak Black on social media, y'all go ahead and check out these videos, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. This shit go for Kodak Black and any other nigga disrespecting my nigga Nip name. His legacy, his family, nigga. Keep my nigga name out your fucking mouth, nigga. Keep his girl's name out your fucking mouth, nigga. The fuck wrong with you new niggas? No respect having ass niggas, man. This new generation, y'all fucked up in the head, nigga. Stop disrespecting my nigga's name, man. This shit for real. My nigga died out here in these fucking streets, nigga. For the, doing the right motherfucking thing. Doing good for fucking people. First thing niggas want to do after his untimely demise is disrespect his fucking name? Nah, nigga, I ain't going for that. Hey, Kodak Black, you out of pocket, nigga. Fix that shit. Quickly, expeditiously, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Ain't nobody else going to say it, nigga. I done said it to you, nigga, and if I see you, I'm going to say it in your face, nigga. You out of pocket, nigga. Get your motherfucking self together. Hey, Kodak Black, cuz, hey, homie, um, who is you, cuz? Don't be speaking on my homeboy, nigga. You gonna get fucked up out here, you stupid-ass boy. Little young, test-tube baby-ass nigga. Beach. Kodak Black. That's not it, bro. I promise you, that's not it. You gotta listen to the guy next to you that's saying too soon. And the other guy that's, you know, trying to keep you from saying it, period. You gotta... You got to get out of that. And you got to, um, you know, there are a lot of factors at play here. You know what I'm saying? Um, not only just the people that love and respect Nip um, and Lauren, um, you know, you're, you're, you do business um, with us, with Atlantic Records. That's, that's a tough spot to be in, young fella. So I'm going to just let you know right now, just get out in front of that man and, if you meant no disrespect, if you meant no harm, you know, it's easier to say that than to play the, you know, play the tough guy. Fix this, bro. Nigga just died. Nigga just got executed out here. Nigga's coming at your fucking woman playing around. I tell you, boy, these new generations, man, y'all niggas some whole ass niggas, man. Niggas don't live on no principles, man. That's why all you niggas ratting like that, because you niggas don't got no fucking principles, man. Uh, Wish a nigga played me like that. I'll catch a nigga and... What? <laughs> mm. I don't know, man. I ain't even... I'm going to mind my motherfucking business, man. I ain't going to say nothing, man. I'm about to talk too much on this joint.
daddy, nigga. I know all the fucking gangsters in fucking Florida, nigga. Listen, I, I ain't gonna like... sit on here and name them niggas and make them niggas hot, but you ain't one of them niggas. Right. Low ass boy. I think that he needs to focus on that rape case he got coming up. Don't like... that. I don't give a fuck about none of that. <laughs> Only thing I give a fuck about him is disrespecting my fucking brother. Nigga on some hoe ass shit. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about nothing he got going on. I don't listen to none of that goofy shit. Yeah. Nigga, you, that shit don't get no play in my riz eye. Right. Like a nigga sit on Minister Society and get that shit out of here. You know that shit don't get no play in my riz eye. Mm hmm. Oh, man. I was just. These I, young I was niggas just, is fucking clowns, man. I, I, I completely agree. I was just, you know, wondering if you had some. Come at a nigga, don't come at a nigga, woman, and nigga just died. And Listen, not even in the ground. He's an honorable, respectful man. nigga. Yep, niggas is trifling like that. If you, if you real, nigga. What y'all expect her to be single forever? I said I'd give her a year to grieve and cry. Hell yeah, she a bad bitch. Any, any one of y'all, any any one of y'all, if she try to holler at any, anybody, y'all ain't finna be like, oh, nah, I can't do it because of Nipsey. I, <clears throat> I said, I'm gonna do positive shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna change a little piece. And then she gonna see that. And she gonna be like, you know what? Oh, you remind me. Because I'm, I'm gonna give a fuck, man. Then, then I'm gonna be me, bro. I'm not, I'm not y'all. All right, so you guys just watched those videos from BG Knockout, Gilly the Kid. Like I said, the game, everybody had something to say. Now, on top of that, it was announced today that several radio stations in L.A. are going to stop playing Kodak Black's music. So one of the popular radio stations from Power 106, they took to social media, and this is what they said. They said, we stand with the family of Nipsey Hussle and are appalled by the disrespectful and poor comments made by Kodak Black. With that, Power 106 will not support Kodak Black's music. Hashtag long live nip. So that's what they wrote. So Kodak decided to post an apology, and this is what Kodak had to say. Me, personally, I'm not buying his apology, but go ahead and check this out. T.I. snouting on you. That's what I forgot in my life. What the fuck T.I. talking about? I'm in pause right now. I'm in pause right now. I'm in pause right now. Man, T.I. say what? T.I. say... Fix that shit expeditiously. Man, listen, I said what I said, and then y'all y'all trying to misconstrue what I said. I don't, man, listen, man, 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 fuck that. I don't give a fuck what y'all talking about. And T.I., man, I don't care. I'm in Georgia right now. Fuck y'all talking about. So, so the fuck, man. Fuck y'all mean, bitch. And I'm about to put this Nipsey Blue on right now. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. You got skipping peas, seeing peas, cripping peas, whatever. I'm about to, uh... With this SG shit on, though. I didn't even see what y'all talking about, but nobody ain't finna be coming at me. What? Nobody. I don't give a damn. I'm talking about. I don't give a damn. Fuck. I'm talking about bitch. A damn. Look at my face. A damn. If I disrespect you, knowing none of in any shape or form, I'm sorry. Even though I didn't. And recipes to do. Y'all already know what I said. I said, do encourage me to do shit for the community. But anyhow, my bad to them too. But for all you other people like trying to fake act like y'all love boying me on the internet or checking me on the internet, that's how you feel, bro. That's how y'all want to feel. And I got a whole tour. Like, I'm in Georgia right now. Tomorrow I'll be in Norfolk, Virginia. Like, wherever y'all see me at, if that's how y'all feel, that's how y'all feel. Don't try to little boy me on no internet like oh motherfucker motherfucker nigga you could hit my line recipes to do if i disrespect it knowing nothing in any way even though i know i didn't my bad my bad but listen i got niggas who i say fuck you two to their face so i ain't gotta get no off of a nigga who we in the grip all right so you guys in this all right so you guys just watch kodak black's apology so after that apology went viral, um, Big Boy from Big Boy's Neighborhood, he was not feeling it at all. So he decided to call Kodak Black out as well. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Big Boy says, I won't disrespect my timeline by posting a pic, by posting a pic of Kodak Black. I will, however, I will say this. I'm not here for the blatant disrespect. I'm not here for the blatant disrespect and fake ass apologies. To disrespect King Nipsey and the Queen Lauren is why I draw the line. 
Hip hop has been very disrespectful lately. Not only is this disrespectful to hip hop, but this is disrespectful to a beautiful human being, spirit, and legacy. Sometimes I feel a certain way, but I don't publicly speak out. I just don't fuck with the person, place, or thing. This one, I can't just keep it on a personal chill. I have been a child of hip hop for so long. Hip hop raised me, I've raised hip hop. I'm not new to this or fake with this. I'm a soldier. I'm not just phone taps and funny interviews. Check my pedigree. I will not stand by and let Kodak Black come between any alliances I I have with dear friends. Nipsey's honor cannot be disrespected like this. We must put a shield around at Lauren London and this entire family. We can't allow these things to happen. Nipsey wouldn't. We look the other way and forgive too easily. I'm a black man first and I love all that deserves my love. I'm with unity. However, we must discipline our own as well. This isn't about radio or dropping records. That's been done. This is about protecting a legacy and holding people accountable. This may not change Kodak Black now, but I pray it changes his or someone's future. For all those out there that want to disrespect and play with royalty, I advise you to thank Trice. Long live the spirit, knowledge, and wisdom of Nipsey Hussle. This has to be the standard forever. The marathon continues. I'm blocking the bullshit from now on. Try me. So that is what Big Boy had to say. Um, so like I said, this entire situation to me is very, very interesting. Now, Kodak Black is disrespectful. Kodak Black has been disrespectful. You know, what I find funny about this situation is that not everybody's up in arms because Kodak Black disrespected Lauren London. But when Kodak Black was disrespecting dark-skinned black women, I didn't hear any of these guys chastise him. I didn't hear them check him. You know, I did a video calling him out, and I was drug and, you know, called all types of names and everything else. It's funny that this young man has been disrespectful. He's been disrespecting women. Right now, this fool has just been charged with raping a high school student in South Carolina. Okay, he was arrested for this, and he was released out on bail, but now he's officially been charged, and he has to go to trial. So where was this energy when this charge came out on April 5th? No one denounced him. No one said, well, we're not going to play his music. We need to mute Kodak Black. Nobody really gave a fuck. But now that he's talking about Lauren London and Nipsey, now people are speaking out. Now people are checking him. And I think it's a good thing that people are checking him. Don't get me wrong. But again, if we're going to have checks and balances, let's not pick and choose what we want to check people about. Because honestly, Kodak Black should have been checked years ago for his disrespect of black women, period. This dude's been out here wild and saying all types of colorist shit. Just, you know, just straight up disrespecting people, straight up disrespecting women. But now that he's, you know, bought that same energy towards Lauren London, now it's an issue. Like I said, had he been checked by these OGs in the game years ago, he wouldn't have had the balls or the fortitude to disrespect Nipsey Hussle or Lauren London. See, that's what happens when y'all sit idly by and y'all let these rappers just disrespect people, especially black women. You know, it's never an issue when they're going in and, and being colorists and disrespecting women. It's not an issue. But as soon as they told that line and they disrespect a black man, you know what I'm saying, and they disrespect his legacy, not everybody's talking about boycotting his music and not playing him on the radio and everything else. But I say this, Kodak Black has been problematic. I've been calling out Kodak Black. You know, so I find it very interesting now that the radio stations want to ban him. Now hip-hop is speaking out when y'all should have been checking his ass, point blank, period. Y'all really should have been trying to, you know what I'm saying, mute him when it came out that he was being charged with raping a high school student. Y'all really should have been on some mute Kodak Black shit then, but y'all wasn't because, again, you guys only get up in arms depending on how much love you have for that person. And that's why I said in my live stream, until we really start respecting the living... I'm going to take everything that you guys are saying about the deceased with a grain of salt. Too many people are disrespecting people who are still here, who still have breath, and y'all sit by and y'all watch folks get drugged. Y'all watch folks get trolled. Y'all sit by and y'all enjoy the shit show, and it's funny. But then when somebody disrespects your faves, now it's off with their head. Like I said, I'm no fan of Kodak Black. He should be checked. But don't wait until Nipsey Hussle's death to do the right thing. Y'all should have been checking him. This dude was also disrespecting young M.A. for weeks before Nipsey Hussle's death, and everybody sat back and laughed at it. He was being very homophobic towards her, and everybody laughed and kikied. It was no big deal. 
Again, people only get up in arms depending on the person who's being disrespected. Nothing but love and respect to Lauren London and what she's going through. Nothing but love and respect to Nipsey. But had we been checking Kodak Black years ago, he wouldn't have felt this comfortable. Matter of fact, Nipsey was so dope when Kodak Black's album dropped, Nipsey shouted him out. Told folks, go check out his album. Nipsey was always doing stuff like that to up-and-coming rappers. So for him to show him love in life, and then for Kodak Black to disrespect him and his wife in death, to me is just sickening. It just shows the mentality of this person. And why Kodak Black has a platform is beyond me. The dude just comes off as just straight-up buffoonish, straight-up ignorant. He does not care. But yet and still, this is what people support in hip-hop. People are coming out in droves now to support Nipsey and his death. But I wish folks had the same energy while Nipsey was here. I wish he was able to see how much love and how much impact and how much he really helped the community while he was here. You know, all this is fine and dandy, but he's not going to be here to, to see any of this. So I really hope that instead of people just type in, you know, long live Nip and, you know, continue the marathon, I really hope that this brings a spirit of change in L.A., and that people are really going to continue the marathon and start treating each other with respect, okay? Anyways, y'all, I don't want to make this video too long. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation concerning Kodak Black and his disrespect of Nipsey Hussle and Lauren London and how a lot of people in hip-hop are now, you know, calling for a boycott of him and to ban his music from the radio stations. Do you agree with me that this should have been done years ago because Kodak Black has been nothing but disrespectful and they basically helped to create this amount so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Crip, did no rap nigga do this? This is a nigga for the community. A-Tray Gangsters, Six O's, BPS's, Hoover's, PJ Wise, Bunny Hunters, Motor Parks, Great Streets, Bounty Hunters. Harlem's, UG's, 2011's, Blocks, Nine O's, East Coast's, a little bit of everybody up here, Bishops, <laughs> <laughs> Nation of Islam, Brother Reza in attendance, Wanted to send some words of encouragement. Y'all stay focused. Y'all keep working hard. Believe in yourself. Prove everybody that doubts y'all wrong. Show up every day. Stay pure. Keep your heart poor, pure. Stay motivated. Stay inspired. Show love to your people. From Nip Hustle. Love.